Hello, welcome to Angela's Hangout. Hanging out with my dad today and we're gonna cook you up some morel mushrooms. We ordered these dried, or they're dehydrated mushrooms off of Amazon. And um, all you have to do is stick those in some steaming hot water for about 15 minutes and they plump right up. Let's get right into it and show you a quick, easy down home recipe. So after 15 minutes, um, we're just gonna go ahead and drain them. Make sure you put them in a strainer and clean them off thoroughly and everything like that and make sure you pat them dry. Um, and make sure to save that mushroom stock because it's so good in their soups and everything like that. So I just ended up taking it home with me and I froze it. So um, I can pull it out whenever I need to. So we're just gonna heat up about two tablespoons of butter and a cast iron skillet. And while that is melting down, we're gonna go ahead and set up our dredging station. So my dad is pretty simple. So he's just using a paper plate and some flour. He's not gonna season it yet at this point. He's just gonna use this for now, but he seasons it later. I'll show you in just a moment. So look at him, he's a good boy, he puts things away. So we're just gonna crack a couple of eggs and get that all um, whipped up. Okay, first one going in. This is pretty exciting, you guys. So all I did was dip it, take one of them that are the mushrooms that are patted down. He's dipping it in some egg yolk, and then he's just dipping it in the flour and just sticking it literally right into the pan. Let me show you. So we did end up adding a little bit more butter to it and a little bit of oil just because it was starting because we're going to crowd our pan so we're going to go ahead and cook them all at once and uh, so we needed just a little bit more. That's just one ounce package. Yeah. Like way better, <laughs> way better than uh, Santa Maria burgers. My dad and I are from the Midwest, and this is like always mushroom hunting is so huge back there. So we were super excited when I was able to find them on Amazon. And so this, that's why we're doing them this way. But you know what? If you can find the fresh ones, it's even better. Oh my gosh, I miss mushroom hunting. Now we're adding in our seasoning. So he's using Suzy Q, which is like our favorite, all time, all time favorite Santa Maria season. We use it on literally everything. And just a little bit of salt and pepper. These didn't take very long to cook up. Probably about five minutes total. They're just like, oh my gosh, we're just like our mouths are salivating at this point. Can't wait to go give them a try. Oh my goodness, here we go. Make sure you drain them on a paper towel. That way they're not all yucky and greasy because there's nothing worse than biting into a like a soggy fried mushroom. <laughs> Salt. Salt. Damn, now watch me eat them. Salt goes on immediately. Hmm? Salt has to go on immediately. You have to do what? Put salt on there. Put salt. Oh my god, look at those. 
I cannot believe that a little one ounce dehydrated package made this many mushrooms. Look how crispy and delicious. Oh my gosh, cannot wait to dive in. Sadly, they're a little too hot for me at this moment. <laughs> anyway, that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed us hanging out with my dad and I. I love that guy. He's so funny. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And we are going to wait for them to cool off and go dive in. Yeah, we go. You have a little package made of old pencils. Hey, try these.